Good morning. Morning. So we spent the night parked up just there behind us, which is, we realised, the first ever completely off-grid park for night that we've done in the van. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So how was it? It was fine. Pretty quiet. A few people turned up to go to the park, but then they went a bit later on. But it's quite early now. It's, what, ten past seven in the morning. Exactly, yep. Um, because we have to take the van to a garage, unfortunately. Uh, we had a bit of a problem with one of our rear, what are they called? Bump stops. Bump stops. Um, the problem is that it actually just was off. off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have to go and get some new ones put on. But conveniently, there is a Ford Transit service centre, which is about 15 minute drive from where we are now, which is why we're here. And they were able to fit us in if we came this morning at half past seven. So yeah. that's what we're going to do. And hopefully it should be a pretty quick swap out. We shall see. So uh, we've been driving around very carefully and quite slowly in the last few days. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and get them both replaced today. The other one is okay, but not great. I'm doing a bit of research actually. It looks like the bump stops on the van are actually not traditional bump stops. They're not really hard rubber stops. They're actually squishy and they are part of the suspension. So I think they're sort of called spring assisters. Um, but either way, we don't have one. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we need to get another one of those. We tried to drive as carefully as possible, but you can see how every little pothole or bump in the road made it just a bit too close for comfort. That sounds promising, doesn't it? Transit service, yeah. Right, it's quite busy when I go. And it just fits, isn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Glad I'm not the one driving. I just have to do a ridiculous number of point turns over there. Yeah, it's a very busy place they've got here. Right, so we're all done. It was actually really quick and the guys there were really helpful and friendly. Um, and yeah, we asked if we could take the uh, original ones with us because it's quite funny to see them. That is what was on the van. And that is rubber, but it's so perished it's i mean it's ridiculous yeah compared to the new ones that went in and didn't take them very long he said that actually it's not too bad that they were so degraded because it would just be a bit loud in the back it was hard to know like how critical uh, it was to have them like that um so yeah he, he said it's not really a big problem so but yeah yeah what's funny is it's probably replacing these is probably one of the easiest jobs you could do on the whole van but it's the one that we haven't done ourselves just because traveling around like this we don't have any jacks or anything to safely lift it so yeah, yeah but to be fair like i think just this time around i'm glad that we didn't do it ourselves it's just quite a nice treat really and also he did a bit of a body check as well and he said it's all pretty much looking good that so true. yeah so it said here the parts were 43 pounds and the label was 57 so that's not bad is it yeah it's quite cheap actually because it was going to cost us about 50 pounds if we bought the parts on ebay yeah. and then we've got to faff around actually doing it would you have enjoyed paying someone else to do some of the other jobs? Yes. Most of the stuff under the van, like some parts weren't so bad. Like putting the waste tank under was a bit of a faff. Um, the gas tank in the end wasn't so bad, but yeah. Dropping the fuel tank was a bit of a mission, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't the most fun thing at all. Yeah. Right. Breakfast. That's the next problem. We've got to do something about this. Ah! Yeah, we need, we need something a bit more industrial to keep that on, don't we? Yeah. Um. These door coverings are obviously just very temporary. Something we just put on for one of our trips last year because uh, we wanted some insulation in there not to have to look at the metal all the time. But at some point we do need to actually do that properly. <laughs> and the sliding door as well. The few little jobs that we decided weren't big enough to stop us actually getting on the road. Yeah, it's fine. So we're going to catch the bus into town now and it gives us a chance to do our laundry as well. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a bit cheaper than they find it on campsites. <laughs> yeah, I think the last wash we paid for was 10 quid. It yeah. didn't even wash that good, so... Yeah, it's the one annoying thing about being on the road we're finding is just having to wash your clothes. We had planned to have a bit of a wander around the town, but obviously he started chucking it down. 
so we headed to our next campsite instead where fortunately the weather improved. So we spent the last couple of nights at Tregunwith Farm campsite which is really been quite peaceful actually, quite nice, we've just been chilling out here really. Uh, we've got to move on tonight just because there is, even though there's loads of space, they can only actually take five campers and there's uh, a few others coming today so yeah, so we've got to move on, we're going to find a, another park up on the road and hopefully go for a nice walk today as well. One thing that's pretty cool about this campsite that I've never seen anywhere else is the meter to control the shower is actually a coin operated consumer unit box thing. So you put in a pound coin here and then turn the dial and basically just counts up the number of electric units you can use for the shower. So yeah, really retro, really cool. Another thing I think we've realised we need is an attachment to fit on any tap. Yeah, if we don't have one, this one doesn't have one. Which is a bit annoying. Oh well, I mean this is half a litre and that's 85 litres so you know, it's like 170. <laughs> But it was already like half full, so I'm not going to do it all the way anyway. We're nearly there. It's quite handy being able to get to the lid of our water tank for this kind of situation. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I should do it. Yeah, it's one of those little things you need, isn't it? Yeah. Tap so, attachment. You don't really know until you actually get on the road and you experience these things. But yeah. Cool. All right, let's hit the road. Already smell the pub food. It's just waiting for me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of our walks are just to the pub right now. So we just stopped for a nice lunch at the Pandora Inn, which has a really nice location sitting on the pontoon looking out to the water, so that's good. Yeah, I think it's quite a popular place. It was really nice actually. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to carry on walking around and then we've got to find another park up for today. <laughs> there aren't so many uh, campsites around here, so we're going to try and go, I think the first night, going to just a lay-by we found a park for night and see how that works out. Should be fine, I think. We've topped off our water and yeah, good to go. So we've just parked up in our first lay-by we found on Park for Night, and uh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit slopey, but it is away from the main road. Um, but I think Abby's found another one she reckons is probably going to be better. Well, it just looks like it's a bit more flat and less noisy, which is only a five minute drive away, so yeah. yeah. There is another van here behind us, and there is a lorry parked up there, but there was a big fuel tanker which just came past, and it was pretty sketchy seeing it go past the lorry, so there's obviously a lot of vehicles that yeah. are going to be coming through. All right, let's try the other one. We can always come yeah. back if we don't, yeah. if, we, uh, yeah. if we prefer this one. Yeah, it's not far away, so. Cool. Right, so this is the place that we've come to instead. I think it's just an old disused waybridge or something like that. Yeah, you can see the waybridge behind us. Yeah, doesn't look too bad, so. Uh, Much quieter and flat. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. This is actually pretty good. Yeah. No one here as well. So how was your first night spent in a lay-by? It was fine. We got a bit of noise early this morning just because there's some kind of industrial site there, but that's to be expected. Um, apart from that, it's been absolutely dandy, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite quiet most of the night, actually, yeah. isn't it? Just thinking, I'm not sure I've ever had breakfast in a lay-by before. <laughs> Probably the first of many, I'm guessing. Before we could hit the road, we wanted to have a shower, but it wasn't draining very well. So the first job of the day was to scramble under the van and clean the filter that we have on our waste pipe. Okay, so we've got the filter out of the drain pipe. 
pretty clogged up with sand it looks like so hopefully that's the problem and yeah. it's just stopping water going through which in a way is good because that's why we put it in because we don't want any of that stuff getting into the grey tank if we can help it yeah all right so poured through some water from the other side and try to clean it out with some paper it's a lot cleaner a bit hard to do it properly because of the shape of the thing it doesn't look like you can take the filter out not something i thought i'd be doing first thing in the morning if i'm going to be honest no but that should do it now so we put that back in and then actually have a shower and get going <laughs> So, is it draining? Much better. Yeah? Yeah, it's just going straight down now. Oh, good. Right, so next job this morning is we're going to go and get some more LPG uh, because we are showing... Oh, it was actually showing on empty. It's gone up to two bars now. Yeah, I don't know what's the right thing. It's showing that... Yeah, but the reason we're doing it now... Um, well, one, it was showing empty, but also we are now conveniently parked up at one of the only spots in this area of Cornwall where you can actually get it and uh, didn't realise this until we looked at the map but we're actually right next to it so yeah it's pretty handy and if we zoom out there's really not that much more in this whole area of Cornwall really there's only two in this whole area it would be a bit daft not to wouldn't it yeah exactly <laughs> it's been showing oh there we go look it's showing um, empty again weird so I mean other people said it's not the most accurate of things didn't they yeah so we're going to go and top up with LPG and when we put it in to begin with uh, was when we were testing out the system so we only filled it up halfway anyway so I'll give it a nice full tank and it should last for ages. Yeah. Oh well, there we go, we're completely full of gas. Good job on the reversing. <laughs> the van is, not us. <laughs> so yeah, we had, um, it was just under 20 quid, 19 pounds 70 something, and about 18 litres went in. So it's 24 litres of usable capacity in the tank. So that means that there were six litres still in the tank. Yeah. So that's good to know. So that means that if we see the, um, the red light come on, then maybe there's around about six litres left. About a quarter, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is still quite a lot actually. Yeah. Probably would have lasted for a long time. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so that means as well that we use six litres in the time we've been since we last filled it up, which is about three weeks of being on the road. Yeah, so that would mean... So we're using about two litres a week. Three, six, nine, so 12 weeks it would have lasted if it was completely full. Yeah, which is pretty it's good, isn't it? Bad, That's about so. what we thought, about yeah. three months, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we haven't been skimping on using it at all. We've had a lot of tea at that time, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go and park up, look at some flowers, and get some tweet. <laughs> Turn left to Church Road. <laughs> As it was a nice day, we thought we'd spend an afternoon at Glendurgan Garden, which is part of the National Trust. It has a variety of exotic plants and flowers across three valleys to explore, with a few fun activities along the way. All right, so we're doing Red Route. Yeah, that's what you said. Go this way, go down to the little beach in the village here, come back this way somewhere, and there's a maze in the middle. Cool. Also, you're looking at your little paper map right in front of the same thing. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Unfair, oh, it's still up. You lose. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't go fast enough yet. <laughs> I think I need a higher one. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's a bit 
this, you know. Halfway round, we took a stroll down to the tiny fishing village of Durgan, which we thought was a good spot for some lunch. All right, what we got? Crisps. Right, you ready to get lost in a maze? <laughs> Not sure we'll get lost, to be honest. I can see over the top. It's <laughs> a <laughs> too tall for your own good. <laughs> the maze is made out of cherry laurel and was first planted in 1833, so there's been one here for almost 200 years. Oh, it goes back on itself. Oh, there we go. That was actually more challenging than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Nice. Wasn't that just amazing? Oh <laughs> I think I'm starting to rub off on you after all this time. So this morning we have got up early to do the park run at Pendle Campus. Yeah, it's also Armed Forces Day, so we've been giving them these free t-shirts in support of the uh, Armed Forces community. Yeah, so we're doing a 5k run. I've already run a bit because Abby left her running watch in the van, so I had to run back up the hill. Uh, so yeah, quick run and then catch the park and ride the fence. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Have a good run. <laughs> Come on, Abby. Well done. Great tough course, isn't it? This is the first park run we've done for a while, but we do like to do them when we can. It's always 5k and pretty much always at 9am in random places around the country and the world actually and uh, yeah just a really good start to the day and a chance to see some new places too yeah. Abby offers me prefers it if it's flat as well I'm not sure what she's going to make of this one <laughs> uh, it's challenging sometimes turn around point again Thank you. Well done, last lap. Oh, God. Oh, dude. That's pretty tough, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Last bit! This was your idea, you know, remember? <laughs> yeah, round to the right and then you're done. Come on, Abby! One of the other things of getting up early to do the park run is we've got a space in the car park which is handy because it's also the park and ride for Armed Forces Day and uh, just after the run which is only half an hour or so it is completely full so in our big van yeah it would have been a nightmare coming later and even more handy we asked the steward and because it's the Armed Forces Day the uh, car park is not closing for the whole weekend and the park and ride is going all day today so we can actually stay overnight for free as well so it's a bit of a result really isn't it? Good planning on my part, I think. I did nothing for this one.
This thing is amphibious as well. Tempting, tempting. <laughs> Comfy? Really? Let me stand up. No. <laughs> I think I'll land a little bigger. <laughs> Good fun yesterday, we had a really good time. Today we're gonna head on to another campsite and uh, spend spend a night there, then we're gonna carry on around the coast, I think. Just a quick stop to pick up some camping chairs. Yeah, those will do nicely. Cheers. <laughs> Comfy? Yeah. Nice being able to just park up and just make a cup of tea straight away, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm not sure if I'd ever be able to go back into camping in a tent after this. I don't know. We didn't stay very long here, but that's because sometimes we just need a campsite for one night, mainly so that we can use all the services and refill and empty everything. So Tim and I are on our way to another Brit stop down in the Lizard area and uh, we're going to actually to Roskilly's ice cream shop which I think is their main base where they have everything, they've got a restaurant and all sorts of stuff like that so yeah we're gonna see what that's like and hopefully stay for the night. Apparently it's really good ice cream as well. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the time we really enjoy just driving the van. It's nice to take in the scenery down all the country lanes and pass through pretty villages along the way. As well as the impressive selection of ice cream, they've also got a restaurant on site. And seeing as we were a bit peckish, we decided to grab some lunch first. So we went for a traditional Cornish pasty, and they were probably some of the biggest we've ever seen. Almost everything is homemade at the farm, and you can wander around and explore, or take some treats home from the shop. We've got a pretty good park up on the field and we've just had a pasty for lunch and uh, now we've got an ice cream which is rapidly melting <laughs> but it does taste good. It's going all over your fingers. Yeah. I've gone for the multi one which has got Maltesers in it, it's pretty good. What's yours? Caramel crunch. It's quite a cool little place, it's all family run, it looks like it just started as a farm and then they've kind of expanded into ice cream and then opened the restaurant and the little seating area as well. Oh hello. And a lot of animals. <laughs> They look like a fist coming out of the ground. <laughs> like someone stuck under the sand. So even though our main reason for going to this park up was just to have a spot for the night, it gave us a chance to explore an area that we might not have done otherwise. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty knackered now. Yeah. Right, cup of tea. Sounds good. That That's ended up being 5.6 miles in the end. Really? Yeah. <sighs> well, I've worked off my ice cream. Do you reckon you actually have? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I had cloth of cream on top of mine, so... <laughs> well, I think we've got a pretty good park up for the night. So, we had a peaceful night at Roskilly's, and in the morning it was nice to have a wander around and see all of the animals they'd got. We also noticed that they were in the middle of setting up a new campsite, which is now all up and running.